Oh, ice cracking folks. It is I, CFK Crew, here to bring you some more TEW 2016 WCW It Lives Again. Ugh. Let's just get on to this. Because I'm not so ready to be on with this. Anyways, tonight, WCW Monday Nitro is being held live from the UIC Pavilion in Chicago, Illinois. 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 The show starts with Eric Bischoff announcing that Wrath is activating his rematch clause tonight. So the main event tonight will be Wrath versus Booker T for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, next we go, we play a little video package highlighting the top stars in WCW today, including the champion himself and the current challenger, the number one contender. Several legends, the Million Dollar Man, and the current United States Champion. Uh, the show proper starts off with uh, the announced team highlighting two, the two title matches that we have tonight. Uh, Wrath versus Booker T for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. And Rey Mysterio versus Jamie Noble for the WCW United States Championship. Uh... What? Hold up. What? And about that decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. The Hurricane defeated Kazayashi in 713 by pinfall with the nightmare on Helm's No, with the. Whatever. During the match, we had Young Yang accidentally hit Kaz. I'm just. Is this, is this a problem? It's going to be a problem now. What's, what's up with. Why is my match? What's up with my match intensity? Oh, God darn it. Uh, I will be right back. All right. We've got to run that back. Uh, apparently, I moved my, uh, what, my mainstream rating from key feature to heavy, and it required me to raise my match intensity by 20. That's nuts. Anyway. Same thing, but ratings going to be a bit different. Yeah, continue now. And about that, a decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. I oh, got darn, I still didn't run Helm Street. Got to change that. The Hurricane defeated Kazayashi in 638. Wait, do I actually have a note for this? Nope, I have Hurricane defeats Kazayashi with Young botching interference and actually hitting Kaz. Afterwards, we have Gluttony and Sloth run out and attack the Hurricane. They put his leg in a steel chair and then both attack it with a crowbar and steel chair, respectively. And then Greed comes out and cuts a promo saying that the Hurricane thinks he's a superhero. And let's see if he has superhero healing because I doubt he'll be able to make the match and have to forfeit it and ultimately give the belt back to who it rightfully belongs to, Greed. Uh, a video package replay is showing Fit Finley's assault last week on the Misfits in action and it shows Hugh Morris is on the way to the ring for his fatal four-way match uh, between Sean O'Hare, James Storm, Fit Finley, and Hugh Morris. Uh, backstage, Evolution are cutting a promo on the Second City Saints and Rey Mysterio. Uh... Mostly Ray talked about how he's a legend from Carolina and that Chicago is the worst city in the entire United States. Woo! Mark Jendrick just being intimidating and AJ Styles uh, uh, talking smack about Ray Mysterio, particularly about why he's wearing a mask, especially since he's already lost it once before. Isn't losing your match, mask supposed to be a huge deal with you? Lucha wrestlers. <laughs> Alright. So what's the deal, man? If you're going to go ahead and break traditions, I guess wouldn't mind if you break the tradition of holding the United States champ. I had a better promo cut for this, but I totally forgot it. Like we could go. In a decent match, uh, Sean O'Hare defeated Hugh Morris, James Storm and Fit Finley in 801. When O'Hare defeated James Storm by pinfall with the Widowmaker. 
uh, Fit Finley and Hugh Morris kind of brawl outside the ring and eventually take it backstage uh, and all around the crowd, uh, leaving the, the general vicinity. vicinity. Uh, allowing Sean O'Hare to get the pinfall and James Storm, who was distracted by all the commotion. Uh, but afterwards, Chris Harris and James Storm uh, double team Sean O'Hare and they get in some good licks before Diamond Dallas Page runs them off. Booker T is being interviewed by Lillian Garcia about his upcoming title match tonight and his title defense if he is retained tonight against Jeff Jarrett at the next pay per view. He says he's confident. He's the man. Uh, if if Raph thinks he's going to get by him again, then he's got something coming for him. The only reason why he won last time is because of outside interference. But tonight, the champ is in the house. And the champ is going to ask you one question, all right? Listen up. and Listen real good now. Can you dig it? Sucker. Uh... Jamie Noble is ready for his is in the ring preparing for his match against uh, Rey Mysterio where he grabs a microphone uh, and dedicates his match to his girlfriend sitting in the front row, Nydia. He's like, hey, Nydia. How you doing? In a decent match, uh, Rey Mysterio Jr. defeated Jamie Noble in 847 by pinfall. Not using underhand tactics. Uh, where is it? Uh, by DQ when... AJ Styles runs in and lays out Rey Mysterio with a steel chair. In Jamie Noble's frustration about being screwed over another United States Championship match, he decides to hit Rey Mysterio with a double underhook power bomb and then storm out through the audience with his girlfriend. Turn. Heel Noble. Uh, main event is still on the way. A video package highlighting last week's altercation and match between Mark Jindrick and Colt Cabana. And then CM Punk and Colt Cabana, the second city of Saints, here from from Chicago, Illinois, Illinois, Irinois, uh, cut a promo on Flair and Jindrick, saying that, you know, Flair could talk about him. I could talk about Colt. So I can talk about CM Pump when he disrespects the city of Chicago. And he has a real problem. Alright, so they're going to, he's going to show him tonight just what it means to be Chicago born and Chicago made. The crowd's like, woo. And then in a superb match, Ric Flair defeated CM Punk by pinfall with the roll up after the raft get the 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 referee is distracted. Uh, by Colt Cabana outside unintentionally. Mark Jidrick comes out and makes the scene. Uh, and, and while the ref is talking to Colt, Mark runs into the ring, hits Punk with a... a left-handed knockout hook. Uh, and then Fergus roll up. Backstage... Uh, Stanger is being interviewed by Lillian Garcia uh, about what it means to be television champion, you know, the opportunities that provides for a lot of the newer superstars. Uh, and I was glad that he got it off, got it out of the hands of Evolution. I don't know if I named him Evolution yet. I probably should have. I might wait until something happens. A specific search. So anyway, as he's talking, Shane Douglas comes out and he starts talking about how he wants shot at the belt, Sting continues to refuse, which in that case Shane Douglas, Chavo Guerrero Jr., and also uh, what's her name? La Parca and Hernandez be up soon. <sighs> Sorry for the yawning. Uh, be up Sting. Beat him up pretty badly. Lay him out. Evil are talking uh, uh, Evil are talking about vengeance. Uh, Gluttony's getting his revenge on what's his face, his name, Hurricane, and how Wrath is going to get the revenge on everyone who has wronged him. But at the, at the same time, Wrath is very critical of the rest of evil, particularly envy and greed, not greed, envy and gluttony and sloth, sloth and gluttony for never doing anything. Uh, 
Envy for ruining his shot at getting immediate revenge on S Pride and Lust, aka Sean Stasiak and Stacey Keebler. Uh, and praises greed for even though losing the belts, having initiative. Uh, but m mostly just burying Envy. He's very upset. No. Eric Bischoff comes out to announce that Conan has been suspended for 28 days. Or, well, no, I don't tell, he doesn't say how long. But he's been suspended. And due to the suspension, the tag team belts are being vacated immediately. What? Afterwards, Disco Inferno, Alex Wright, and the Million Dollar Corporation, Teddy Biasi, Sean Stacey, and Chuck Colombo come out and ask what about their number one contenderships, right? To which Eric Bischoff says, you know what? That is a perfect time for the perfect question. So, Eric announces tonight that not this pay-per-view, but the next pay-per-view, WCW Slammery, will be the culmination of a tag team tournament to crown the newest WCW World Tag Team Champions. And since you two have both been granted number contendership, I can't give both of you, you know, extra privileges. So, this, not this Sunday, next Sunday, at WCW Uncensored, you will have a tag team match, and the winner of that match will get a first round by week. Uh, so that's that. Yep, uh, I believe this is a gimmick change. Yeah. Fan favorite, that's fine. And then in a decent match, the Million Dollar Corporation defeated Animal and Above Average. In 8-15, Stasiak defeated Animal by a submission. Then we show Booker T is heading to the ring for his title match, and in an exceptional match, Booker T defeated Wrath in 16-57 by pinfall with a missile dropkick. Booker T makes his finish number one of his WCW World Heavyweight Championship. But after the match, Jeff Jarrett comes out and uh, gets him with the uh, acoustic equalizer. And he stands tall at the end of the show. Whew. So, yeah. All right. So there's two things. All right. A lot of people are upset. And by a lot of people, I mean, I should not be signing this. Hide that belt for now. But the tag team titles are vacated. Because, god darn it, if BG James and Conan aren't the most difficult superstars I've ever had to deal with in TEW, because I don't deal with people, usually. I think Steiner was a, was, a, was a big deal, but these two. So look at my backstage rating. My backstage rating is a 45, right? You got some people in here. It's not too many. LaParque's upset because of Conan's upset. It's mostly Conan and BG James. Well, not really, because there's like Mike Austin being wasted. But Heat on Conan, Heat on Conan, Heat on Conan, Conan, DDP fight. James making fun of Hernandez, right? It's like all, it's like... And then BG James hates me. He hate me. I'm like, why do? Why you got to hate? And Conan's just such a such a problem. Ray, look, you're good. You you're you're great, man. Stay you stay great. But look, take 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 money. Take it. Take 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 it. Take it. I can't you're you're really Ray. Get over it. Ray. There you go. LaParca, I don't care about you. Conan, you're very upset. Yeah. Uh huh. You're suspended, so I can't give you time off. But it's whatever. So, tag team tournament coming up. But the most important thing is that. Uh, Canyon? Let me go to Canyon. Wrath. Booker, not Booker T. <laughs> Booker T. 
Uh, yeah, the the E are coming at him really hard, and so I'm I've decided that I'm going to go harder because I really need wrath. Wrath is one of my cornerstones, so if I, I'm gonna do what I gotta do to get wrath, I got money. Mm, no, 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 no. Not, I can't do one of the two offers. I'll give you 40000 a month. I'll do it. But it means we're going to be running more shows, which is another thing I was going to talk about, which is I'm adding another show soon. Can I just give a bigger... Can I, can I just give him, like, a bigger signing bonus instead of, like, all that money? All right, let me give him... Let's give him, like, 36000 a month. For four years, uh, and he doesn't work house shows, and sweeten the deal, I'll give him a hiring veto. I, no, I don't want any one of the two offers. No, this is the offer. I'll give you 40000 a month, but you better be prepared to earn this 40000 a month. All right. I understand that as WCW, as a cult promotion, being the second best promotion in the world, when WWF are global and want all of my guys to actually make it anywhere, I'm going to have to overpay significantly for a lot of my wrestlers, which means I need to find ways to maximize my profits. Anyways, I'll be right back with Thunder or with Contract Update, whichever comes first. Contract Update. They're offering him thirty-five thousand, but five years. I'll offer you five years. No, I'll offer you six years. No, five years. Want a bigger bonus? I'll give you the forty thousand bonus. I need you. I need you, baby. Please. No. What can I do? Never lowered enough for Mick Carter. Okay. That's what I wanted. The guarantee he's up for Mick Carter for the next five years. Which is fine because that's probably where he was going to be anyway. <sighs> also Steiner's hurt. That doesn't, that doesn't mean anything to me. Just sucks for you, WWE. I mean, F for now. For a few more months. Alright, again, be right back when we get to something important. Well, something happened. Conan says he is leaving. Uh. Well then. He has this notice. 14 days. You know what? Fine. That's for the best. That's totally for the best. Look, Conan's a great worker. You know, he's got great charisma, star quality. He could have been a great color commentator guy. He's very over Mexico. He's super over Mexico. Been great for a Mexican expansion. But he's too much for problem. It's too much for problem. I, and I got rid of Vampiro for this guy. I was like, let me take Conan instead. Fuck this guy. Fuck him. Just resigns people. Let me go ahead and send the proper guys to where they're supposed to be. Uh, Mark Johnson. Back to developmental. Johnny Swinger. Back to developmental. You actually are pretty good. Still going back to developmental. All right. Tonight, we have a show. All right. Be right back with this whole thing book. All right. Thunder is being held live from the Ann Arbor Memorial Arena in Ann Arbor, Michigan. 
The show opens with Jamar talking to Sting. He says if Sting can find three partners, then he will make the match for tonight's main event be Sting and three partners that he finds against the triple threat. We have the video package that plays for every show. And we have the announced team talking about uh, the main event uh, four on four match, as well as the hardcore championship being defended, uh, Fit Finley against Sean O'Hare. The show, the in ring action begins with Jerry Lynn and Aguila taking on the Young Dragons, with Jerry Lynn uh, getting the, when Aguila getting the pinfall over Young Yang. After the match, Kazuyashi berates Young Yang, but today Young's just not having it and he walks out. Is this the end of the Young Dragons? Jimmy Noble is being interviewed by Nidia along with his girlfriend. No, being interviewed by Lillian Garcia along with his girlfriend Nidia. Uh, talks about why he attacked Rey Mysterio after the match. He says he's sick and tired of everybody getting in the way of things that he needs. All right, he needs the money. All right, trailers don't buy themselves, you know. Uh, that's basically it. He's turning into WWE's uh, redneck noble, which is my favorite noble. Uh, second favorite noble besides a uh, lost pause noble, but that's besides the point. Uh, an extremely short match. Fit Finley defeated Sean O'Hare in 522 by pinfall with a tombstone pile driver following interference from James Storm and Chris Harris. Fit Finley makes defense number three of his WCW Hardcore title. Now afterwards, James Storm and Chris Harris cut a promo on uh, Paige and O'Hare. Since Paige is in the building tonight, they challenge him and Sean O'Hare to a tag team match at WCW Uncensored. Reggie James comes out and makes an apology to the crowd about having to give up the tag team championships. Uh, he's very disappointed with his partner, but he hopes that one day he can become a tag team champion again. In a decent match, the Boogie Knights defeated Gluttony and Sloth in 6.03 when Alex Wright defeated Sloth by submission with an STF. <sighs> Afterwards, the Million Dollar Corporation come out and cut a promo on Alex Wright Disco Inferno, calling them absolute non-factors in their quest to get the glory, the gold, the tag team championships, as well as uh, tons of sponsorship money to come along with it, surely. Sting is coming out for his match tonight, and then in the ring, the Triple Threat are cutting a promo on Sting. Basically, Shane Douglas talking about his franchise, uh, that WCW is his show. When the Nitro is his show, Thunder is his show, and you heard Bischoff trying to bring in a new show. That show's his too. And to best represent that, he should be the television champion because he's the only thing that y'all need to see on TV each and every week because this is, he is WCW. Of course, Sting starts to walk out, and then out comes Rest of his crew, Rey Mysterio, Animal, and Mike Sanders. And then in the main event, decent match, not as good as... Uh, Chavo, Chavo's crew, Shane Douglas defeated Sting, Ray, and American Above Average in 946 when Douglas defeated Sting by pinfall. What happens is that AJ Styles runs out to ringside and distracts Sting and Ray, who are dropped by Gory Bomb and back to back suplexes, respectively, at the same time, allowing uh, Shane Douglas to get the pinfall. And that's a show. Yeah, it's a B show. They is what they is. Don't tell me that WWE has updated their contract. Because that would be BS. Good. Reno can't sell. Aguila's not tough. Zito can't Zito. Vito can't sell. Uh Conan's gone, so it doesn't matter. WF resigns uh, Steve Austin. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, Spike Dudley. ECWA is trying to start a prob a, a few of my developmental company. By the way, I think WWE hasn't resigned. Uh, yeah, Brian Christopher. And just incredible, but who cares about just incredible? Sorry, just incredible, but Christopher Brian Christopher, who is their light heavyweight champion, I believe, 
he he is held it since December two thousand one. Huh? Really? I thought he should have been he for the held it longer than that. At least a negative influence. Prior to, I was going to bring him in along with uh, Sky to Hadi. Oh, there's a train. <sighs> but I decided to instead focus on re signing the talent I have instead of trying to bring in more talent, considering I have tons of guys in developmental just waiting to come on out. So, thanks for watching, folks. Hopefully, uh,. I think we're going to resign. Let me just fast forward three days, just in case, to make sure that we do resign Wrath. If we don't this. If we if we don't if we if we, that's Chris Canyon, right? No, these other guys. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just making sure. Do we ask the contract for running coming up? He's gonna be resigned. Just making sure you get the contract you want. Give him a one more one year deal. Only on major TV shows. Not whatever is needed. Never work in ring. Just making sure that everything is okay. Not Conan. Wrath. Wrath, 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 wrath. Just making sure. I'm the only one he's considering. Good. He was only making fifteen thousand. Now he's going to be making twenty thousand. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to turn you face. You're gonna be cost this much money. You need to be my figurehead. Shoot. Right. Right. Right, good quality is lacking too much. Star quality over is not baby face, and I, I'm gonna I'm do it Shoot. anyway. No, let me just. Oh, he's only only one. All right, thanks for watching, folks. Bye bye. <laughs>